This is the PlayStation 3 controller, the 6-axis controller, which came with the older model PlayStation 3s, and this is the PlayStation 3 controller, the DualShock 3 controller, which comes with the newer PlayStation 3s, the PlayStation 3 Slim, and has a rumble feature to give some vibration and tactile sensation while playing video games, making you feel like you're more in the action. But, do you know what's an even better controller? The PlayStation 2 DualShock 2 controller. Not just because this one is silver, but because this thing vibrates like mad. When you're playing a video game, driving, shooting, blowing things up, or punching things, it's shaking all over the place and will freak you out if it's sitting on the coffee table and you're not paying attention and it just starts going You know what I'm talking about. This thing, this thing doesn't rumble quite as vigorously. And I'm not sure if that's just due to the controller itself or due to the fact that video game designers are bored of making controllers vibrate. Rumbling controllers are nothing new. They've been around for well over a decade. The Dreamcast, N64, PlayStation 1 all had some rumbling controllers. They still highlight it on the back of packaging here. DualShock 3 compatible. It's great for driving games. I think that's where it's most applicable to give you a feel of the road, but it's also fun for shooting games and it depends on the game and the design company, but it doesn't seem like there's much excitement with rumbling controllers anymore. Like, it's just kind of expected. Whereas it used to be exciting, it was like yesterday's motion control technology. Every game had a rumbling thing. It was like, oh cool, how does this rumble? Eh, not so much these days. That being said, the big question is, is it worth upgrading to a DualShock 3 controller from the old school 6-axis controller if this is the only one that you have? And my opinion is not really. What you do get is a heftier controller. It weighs more, and that's a good thing. In fact, I think that's its best feature. It feels more substantial. And we'll bring out the handy dandy baking scale. Now, let's put the 6-axis controller onto the baking scale, which comes in at just about five ounces. Now let's place the DualShock 3 controller onto the baking scale, which is a whopping six and a half ounces. You get an additional ounce and a half when you pay for a DualShock 3 controller. Now let's just put the PlayStation 2 controller up there. six and one eighth ounce while they've actually increased the weight. But if you're looking at one of these things as a replacement controller, the price is just outrageous. However, it's nice to see that they do come with the newer PlayStation 3s. This is the one that came with the new classic game room PS3 slim 250 gigabyte model. And I've been using it for several game reviews and it works well. I would just prefer to see more rumbling in video games. Back like when the PlayStation 2 or the PlayStation 1 DualShock controller was new and designers were really excited about it. And even when you just walked across a room, it would be like boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom. Most of the nice things I had to say about the 6-axis controller, I will repeat with the DualShock 3 6-axis controller. Battery life seems pretty good. Nice analog thumbsticks. Sometimes these triggers aren't ideal, but they still do work nicely. The D-pad seems to have a bit more texture on it than the older uh, six axis or my PlayStation 2 controllers, but that could be because I've used them more. I don't have a brand new one laying around. Buttons are well designed and build quality feels good. What's next? What could top the DualShock 3? What's the DualShock 4 going to be, Sony? What will it be? How about I invade your dreams and plant an idea like Inception. The DualShock 4 prototype, which has suction cup feet so that it grips the surface when you play video games and doesn't just rumble the controller. It rumbles and shakes existence as we know it.